Hello, and welcome back to 365 Days with MXM Tune. I'm Maya, a singer, songwriter, video maker, Oakland native, and I am not a fan of earthquakes. However, I am a big fan of history. I love untold stories, gross facts, hidden secrets, and anything weird, dark, and funky from the past. Each day, I'm going to share a few of my favorite deep cuts with you. So let's take a look at today's stories. It's 365 with MXM Tune. New facts every day, so don't leave too soon. I'm gonna teach you stuff, no, it won't be tough. Gonna go a year till you've had enough. It's 365. On this day in 1989, there was an earthquake. And there was a World Series. Worse, or better, depending on how you look at it, the earthquake was in San Francisco, where the World Series was being played. The earthquake struck at about 5 p.m., and though it only lasted about 15 seconds, the devastation was absolutely striking. No pun intended. In the minutes before the earthquake, it's said that the police horses outside the stadium started acting crazy. Animals can generally sense epistemological events before humans. Though if you've ever had an uncle who gets a bad knee before a storm, you know that some people can sense them too. The earthquake struck right before the beginning of the third game of the series. It was about to be played in San Francisco's Candlestick Park between two Bay Area teams, the SF Giants and the Oakland A's. Shout out to my A's. Every viewer of the game saw at least a little part of the disaster on live TV. Not only that, it could also be seen via an aerial camera from the Goodyear blimp. It would come to be known as the Earthquake Series. The TV began flickering, and announcer Al Michaels said, I'll tell you what, there's an earthquake. Then, to add insult to injury, he said, Well, folks, that's the greatest open in the history of television. The ground rippled to the point where it felt like the players were stepping in holes. Some of the players got motion sickness. Players in the dugout and the clubhouse ran out in fear of being crushed. Writers were ordered to leave the press box. It turns out a baseball stadium has a lot of dangerous spots in an earthquake. People had to leave their cars in the parking lot because it got so mangled during the earthquake. The city's power went out and public buses had to transport record numbers of people to get home. When all is said and done, 16,000 homes became uninhabitable. 63 people died and almost 4,000 were injured. It's believed that traffic was actually lighter on this day than normal because of the game, which means that it's possible that fewer people died than would have if it had taken place on a so-called normal day. I guess that's a good coincidence. How it began is that there was a slip along the San Andreas Fault. Basically, that's a big fault in the California mountain range that has caused the majority of earthquakes on the West Coast. It's the boundary between two plates, the Pacific Plate and the North American Plate, and that makes it ripe for earthquakes. The epicenter of the earthquake was in the forest of the Nicene Mark State Park. This is all near Santa Cruz. It may now be known as a party town, but at the time, it was the opposite kind of rager. That's about 60 miles south of San Francisco, but San Francisco and Oakland suffered the most severe damage. If you know the Marina District in San Francisco, the area was hit particularly hard. Why? Well, it's a bit of a confusing reason. Basically, it was built on filled land, which is made up of sand and packed soil versus solid land, like, you know, the land we all walk on every day. Alameda, Santa Clara, and Monterey, shout out to John Steinbeck, were all affected as well. The most deaths in the earthquake were caused by the collapse of the Cypress Street Viaduct. A viaduct is a series of arches forming a bridge across a valley. The San Francisco-Oakland Bay Bridge, which again, my Bay natives, you know it, had severe damage as well. Tragically, a lot of the involved deaths occurred when the upper level of the bridge crashed into the lower level. That's gruesome. Afterward, every bridge in the area had to go through extensive retrofitting. Trust me, you don't want a bridge breaking down. Least of all, when you're on it in an earthquake. It ended up being the strongest earthquake since the legendary earthquake of 06. 1906, that is. To this day, the Bay Area is at risk for a really big one and has been called a tectonic time bomb. Supposedly, there's a 72% chance of a major earthquake by the year 2043. Scary. Our music fact for today is a little less anxiety-inducing. In 1999, it was reported that Michael Jackson had played a secret gig at a martial arts exhibit in Barnstaple, England. But it turned out that it wasn't Michael Jackson at all. When a white stretch limo appeared, out came Navi, a Londoner who claimed to be the world's number one Jacko impersonator. 
And for today's final segment, I'm going to be looking into my own photo archives to see what I was up to on an October 17th in my life. On October 17th, 2015, I partook in a scavenger hunt in Oakland. Feels like an appropriate episode to talk about that because I am from Oakland, California, and this episode is about Oakland, California, San Francisco, Bay Area. Um, My whole family took part in it with our family friends, and we all dressed up in various shades of the rainbow so that way we wouldn't get lost and we could see each other clearly if we got separated. But it was a citywide treasure hunt, and it was really cool. It was really fun. I'd never done that before. If you ever have one in your city, I would highly recommend. I had a good time. You should try it. That's all for today's episode. You can come back tomorrow and um, don't die in an earthquake. Remember to subscribe wherever you listen to podcasts and you can follow along at 365 Days MXM Tune on all platforms to stay updated as we roll out this podcast. Thank you all so much for listening and I will talk to you tomorrow. It's 365 with MXM Tune. New facts every day, so don't leave too soon. I'm gonna Teach you stuff, no it won't be tough Gonna go a year till you've had enough It's 